any like disturbances. So okay, bye. Hey guys, it's Christy, and I'm here with my July, July, <laughs> my July wrap up. I read a total of one, two, six books ish, ish. So the first book that I was ma that I managed to finish in like two days, really quick, was Safekeeping by Karen Hess. Um, this is a hardbound book with photos taken by the author herself. Here, you can see that right there. This was a really great book, actually. Um, I forgot how much I rated this, but I know that I loved it and I finished it very quickly. So, oops. So, um, I was able to finish this quickly and it was um, a fun read. It's It was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. Because I, I read it quite a while ago and I can't remember. Quite a while for me is last the beginning of July. So The next book that I read, I will not be taking out of the plastic. It's actually a comic book, um, a new series, The Runaways. This is um, the first edition. And I didn't realize why it was in the plastic until I bought it. And then I opened it up and then it, the pages are like coming apart. The glue isn't like sticking out anymore. So I don't want to... I don't want to take it out of the plastic, but that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's about um, teenagers who find out that their parents are um, actually in the in a super villain league. And they thought they were, their parents were good, but it turns out they're not. And so um, they're coming to terms with that. And I, I want to continue this series because it's actually very good. So if I find like the second uh, volume, I'll get it. The third book, this one took me a while to read because it was also not only chunky but heavy and it was like two stories so I had to shift my um, perspectives from one to the others and that is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. Amazing. This was amazing. It takes, it's um, the story of the author, her name is Darcy and she's writing this supernatural teen book. And then we also get to read the book she's writing. And really, I kind of wish that the book she wrote has a sequel because it's it's so good. And it's so creepy and it's dark and it's just really good for like a rainy day or like um, October. Like Halloween-ish. That's when I should have picked this up at Halloween but I didn't realize it was going to be as creepy as it was. But it was so good. So good. Like, is this just a standalone? I don't know. It's amazing. It's also quite heavy because it's like two books. And... Like the auth the perspective of the author is like in white and then the perspective of her character is like in black and white. And then the um, fourth book I finished was Montmorency on the Rocks by Eleanor Updale. I used to read this when I was younger. Um, <sighs> this is about a Victorian thief who um, crashes to a roof and then he finds and then he gets like he turned he gets her into like this experiment by this up-and-coming doctor and then once he is healed he gets toured around um by the doctor to show them to show people like his expertise and things like that and he manages to memorize the um underground um uh what's it called again the sewers of london and that's what he uses to um steal from people and this one is when he turns into like a spy and um, he's battling with some inner demons and things like that. So this was a great second book. I remember enjoying the first one and I enjoyed the second one so much. And the third one is currently with my best friend in Manila. And um, it's hardcover and look how beautiful it's purple and gold. It's beautiful. I love this book. I love this series. I really need to continue it. And then the fifth one, two, yeah. The fifth book I finished was The Assassin's Blade, a Throne of Glass novella by Sarah J. Mass. Mass, Mass. Yeah, it's so good. Um, This is a series of short stories preluding to the first Throne of Glass book. And the, I, when I was finished with this, I was like, I need Throne of Glass. I need it now. I need the first book now. I can't find it. It's not here. So I might have to either order it or wait for it to come here because I also have a very large TBR so I mean like that can wait. But this is just... It's... 
it got me excited for the series and maybe by the time I read it it's already done so I can just like marathon through it so I like I, I can take my time with that that's not a big deal and then the last book that I read this took me a while to read I didn't really like it I felt it very kiddie but I did buy it on sale and you know if I buy it I might as well read it um, here be monsters the first book of the Ratbridge Chronicles by Alan Snow Snow I think he's an illegitimate son from the north. Just kidding. No. Um, yeah, it has lots of pictures. Um, and it's well. I mean, it's pretty good. Like if if like I was twelve, I think this was a huge read. And look, oh, I finished a big book. But um, I just had to set put like to put my mind on this, and I could finish it really quickly. And it's a pretty good book, actually. I liked it. I haven't watched the movie based off of this book. And then it turns out there's a book based off of the movie, which was based off of the book. Which is apparently a completely different book. Because I saw that in like my bookstore and I'm like, should I get it? Probably not. Uh, I just read this instead because it was cheaper. And I liked, yeah, I liked it. But I also was bored with it because I felt like this is good for a younger audience. So yeah, that's it. I don't have much to say because this is sort of an overdue video and um, I sort of went through... I'm already like on... My mind's already on like my August book. So yeah, um, these are all the books I read in July. Have you guys read them? Are you going to read them? Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!